Uh, before we get into the first two rounds of this tournament, what, what was your first impressions of Pinehurst uh, number two? You, you obviously worked for the USGA prior to your new job uh, at the PGA Tour, so you know all about the USGA now. What was your first impressions of, the, of Pinehurst? Uh, um, I think my first impressions, I had played in a few U.S. Opens before that, but the bigness of Pinehurst, right? Like there was... It was the pain, the, the the aura of Payne Stewart still being there, you know, the walking by and seeing the seeing the statue of him and just knowing like I'm I'm kind of like a, a golf historian nut. Like I love walking golf courses where I know cool stuff has, has happened, right? Like like I love walking Pebble Beach. Like I think I would if it was between Cypress Point and Pebble Beach, like I, I would I think Cypress Point is amazing but pebble beach has where all the cool stuff has happened right like so um just having that feeling of like the bigness of of the championship of the u.s open and knowing that um you know i was playing corn Ferry nationwide whatever you want to call it but just having that feeling of like the largeness and how important it was and and you know it's it's and knowing that there's the U S open is a place where it defines players careers and not, not you or tiger woods or anything like that. But like, you know, there's been lots of players that, that you know, that define themselves. It's like, Oh, Hey, here's uh Joe Smith. He played in the 20 to 20, 2002 U S open and be like, Oh my gosh, this guy's played in the U S open. Right. Like, so it's, it defines any meanwhile, he's never hasn't even won the club championship. So it defines yeah. players careers. So, um, that, that's the one thing that blows me away, especially now on both sides is, is the bigness of, of the, of the championship. But I think my impressions of Pinehurst was, was just hard, right? Like, I mean, you know, you hear the stories and you hear the, you know, Dave Pell says that only 20 something percent of the greens at Pinehurst are hittable from the fairway. Right. So, you know, there's just all of this. And, and it's I, like Ben Crenshaw said in a in a thing I read recently was you don't count how many greens you hit at Pinehurst in regulation you you count how many you visited right it's Seminoles <laughs> the same way you were right? there many, for a second right yeah how many greens you visit today um but you know like I, I think the one thing that that Lewis really did a great job on you know we both did was was just hitting it in spots where you could putt from and whether that's the Cause you know, there's places where you can putt from anywhere around there, but doesn't mean you, you got a chance to get it up and down. Right. But, um, you know, I remember yeah, standing. For those, for those that don't know, these are the ultimate total back greens, right? Every hole has a, a giant runoff. That's just gross. What can happen to your ball? It's just laughable. What can happen almost on every, every hole at Pinehurst, you can get a laughable situation, right? Yeah, it's not just one area; it's all four areas, right? I mean, it just uh, everywhere it just falls off. But you know, there's there's there was a shot I remember on number eight. I think it was on Saturday where I hit this, or Friday where I hit this bomb down the left side, and it's perfect. And I've got seventy something yards, and he's giving me a target forty five feet right of the hole. Yeah, and short, right? So I'm hitting a fifty yard shot. 40 feet right of the hole from 70 yards. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then you get up there and you see this pin goes back left and it's, you know, drop off. Oh, just to the, to the, to the ninth green basically. Right. Which is a bar three, but you know, it's like, okay, like I guess I'm going to have a 40 footer here with lob wedge in my hand and, and, and hit a great shot. That's where famously John Daly snapped right on the back of the eighth green member. And he was mm -hmm. hiding off the back, couldn't get it up. And then he, he walked up and hit it while I was on the run, right? That was yeah. that was the eighth hole. That's probably the hardest yeah. hole out there. 